a Winnie the Pooh prequel movie is in production. The prequel to the classic novel about the teddy by A.A. A. Milne is reportedly in production, with Mike DeSev set to helm and collaborate on the screenplay with Josh Reynolds. According to the source, the movie will generally proceed just as the movie Paddington, so a television series could come after it. The release of the prequel is scheduled for 2024. Let's dive into the video. Starting off, what were the repercussions of the copyrights of Pooh ending? The character's copyright protection, which Disney had kept in forever for production reasons, ran out in late 2021, which allowed for a variety of new versions of the character. Most notably, when word of the production spread, Reese Frake Waterfield's low-budget horror film, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, went viral. After spending too much time in the Hundred Acre Woods, who and his buddy Piglet get crazy and have a taste for blood, and in that movie, they go on a killing spree. Following up, we're finally getting a Paddington-style Winnie the Pooh. Mike DeSev is currently working on a more innocent feature picture, and he'll direct and co-write with Josh Reynolds. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the movie, which is expected to have a vibe similar to the Paddington series, will be released in 2024 and immediately followed by a new TV show season. Along with this Ev's baboon animation, both projects will be executive produced by Charlene Kelly and Kyao Hui Lim. The film or series casting hasn't been announced yet. In a statement, Reynolds and Desev said that they're presenting the unexpected origin story of the silly little bear and his companions. Back when they were still children, in a style created to engage with 21st century kids. Steve also said that he thinks this unsinkable young cub is totally relatable for today's children, with his strong craving for honey and his ludicrous schemes to get it. The whole gang is hilarious, and are even more hilarious as kids, we're finding out. Obviously, Disney was responsible for Winnie the Pooh's last theatrical release, a live-action follow-up to the beloved animated series Christopher Robin, which was starred by Ewan McGregor as an adult Christopher, who's lost his way and has a small family of his own. After considering their own lives and relationships with Christopher. Christopher's old buddies Pooh and the gang must band together to help their friend find the pleasure in their lives. Moving on to the expectations from the new movie. The more quiet Christopher Robin from 2018 is a remake of the popular series. This project sounds like it'll be a lot more in the spirit of this movie, with a particular love for honey instead of blood. Visit Disney Plus to watch Christopher Robin and other beloved Disney animations. But if you're in the mood for something darker, then check out the trailer for Blood and Honey. A.A. Milne's beloved silly old bear has been almost totally linked with the Disney version, while just having entered the public domain as of 2022. As shown by the odd appearance of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, Disney's Winnie the Pooh has worked to welcome fans inside the Hundred Acre Wood for adventures that let the pure innocence of a child's imagination to reign as beautiful and deep as any big epic, making it almost a full franchise in and of itself. What Disney's interpretation of the character offers most, apart from a variety of toys, stage productions, and off kilter cable after school specials is a sense of unconditional pleasure, love, and comfort, like any decent cuddly bear should. Here are all the Disney's Winnie the Pooh movies ranked, starting off at number 7, Christopher Robin, 2018. Christopher Robin is primarily a movie of very little depth and is the first fully live action movie to feature Disney's bear with very little brains. Christopher Robin, an adult who's become a workaholic, irresponsible dad, is portrayed by Ewan McGregor. He's summoned back to the Hundred Acre Wood to help find his missing stuffed animal pals and recover his youthful spirit. The tale of a mature man rediscovering his youth is told in the film, but it lacks the wonderful honesty or clever insight of Steven Spielberg's Hook and Mary Poppins. The author's little kid served as the model for the character. In the tales, Christopher Robin frequently serves as the voice of reason and the figure who can be counted on to get the animals out of sticky situations. He also appears in the poem collections Now We Are Six, 1927, and When We Were Very Young, 1924. Moving on to number six. Piglet's Big Movie 2003 The effect and narrative of Piglet's Big Movie are similar to those of a regular Winnie the Pooh TV episode. Piglet, John Fiedler, runs into the woods after learning that his buddies believe him to be too little to help with anything, and Pooh, Jim Cummings, and the rest of the group set out to find him and say sorry. Even by Pooh standards, the movie has a simple plot and little stakes, but it stays faithful to the likability of its characters in a jokingly innocent attempt to make small Piglet the center of attention. Although Piglet Piglet's big adventure lacks imagination, intrigue, or excitement. At least it stays away from being too cute. And compared to other Disney Pooh animations, it stays closer to the narratives and tone of the original movies by A.A. A. Milne. It 
suitable for kids as young as four, which is a delight at a time when even PG movies include content that might not be appropriate for middle schoolers. Slapstick will make children giggle, and there are a few fleeting animated sequences that go beyond straight to video quality. At number 5, Who's Heffalump Movie 2005 The Hundred Acre Wood lacks many villains or enemies thanks to its pure character. The mythologized heffalumps and woozles, who steal honey and cause havoc in colorful beauty, are the closest thing Pooh has had to an outright bad figure. In Pooh's heffalump movie, Lumpy, Kyle Stanger, a newborn heffalump who becomes friends with Rue, Nikita Hopkins, and helps correct the gang's beliefs of heffalumps, is introduced to the group. The movie fearlessly holds the characters to account for growing in the past and accepting what they previously dreaded as a welcome new friend, a lesson that's extremely important yet barely touched upon in earlier Pooh films. The movie's superb animation raises it to the level of fun set by Winnie the Pooh, especially when combined with the lovable and charming new character Lumpy. The new adventures of Winnie the Pooh television series past encounters with the Heffalumps are entirely ignored in the movie. Heffalumps are actual species, and not all of them are horrifying, as has already been shown. The Heffalumps in the movie are purple and quadrupedal, but earlier Heffalumps are bipedal, clothed, and a different color. Following up at number 4, Who's Grand Adventure? The Search for Christopher Robin, 1997. Who's Grand Adventure was both the first full-length feature produced by Disney TV Animation and the first since the original movie 30 years ago. The biggest advantage was that these characters and their world didn't truly vanish, thanks to different TV episodes and specials. Unlike previous straight-to-video sequels, which had a lot to live up to as the follow-up to the original Disney classic, the difficulty for the movie was having these uncomplicated individuals experience far higher emotional stakes than before, when they set out on a risky journey to find their cherished companion. Grand Adventure, the first official feature sequel of Disney's Winnie the Pooh, delivers the promise of its title and pushes the boundaries of what its characters can handle. Then, at number 3 on the list, The Tigger Movie, 2000. The Tigger Movie's plan of giving Tigger, Jim Cummings, his own film may seem unnecessary on paper, but in fact, it results in a more human adventure for the Hundred Acre Wood crew. Tigger is inspired by the idea of a family tree and plans to throw a great family reunion for all of his bouncy relatives. But as he's the only one, they're all missing. The film explores what it means to have family and where it can be found in a poetic way through the characters, making it a surprisingly top-tier and terrific Tigger story. It features some of the best animations to come out of Walt Disney Animation Japan and songs by Disney legends Robert and Richard Sherman. The movie was animated jointly at the Walt Disney Studios and Walt Disney Animation Japan. Characters move around landscapes created in gentle, warm water color shades in a classic 2D animation that is similar to children's book drawings. Each chapter begins with a still image on a printed page, after which characters begin to move. The foreground strong ink lines and the background's watercolor washes are typical of Ernest Shepard, who created the original Pooh paintings. Pen and ink line drawings that are displayed during the end credits are particularly typical of Shepard. The second best movie on our list, Winnie the Pooh 2011. The 2011 Winnie the Pooh, which tried to recreate the appearance and atmosphere of the original shorts that Pooh made his debut in, was made with tremendous passion. The plot itself has been covered in earlier Pooh movies, as well as in the original Pooh novels. Yet despite this, the movie enjoys the comfort of its own history and stirs up sweet new memories with old friends. This movie is the Walt Disney Animation Studios' final purely hand-drawn production. Its status is obvious throughout the movie as the legendary Disney characters are animated with a level of creativity and smoothness that hasn't been seen in a long time. At last, the movie that tops our list, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, 1977. This is the original classic, The Compiled Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, which was originally released as three separate featurettes in 1966, 1968, and 1974, has remained one of the most beloved Disney classics and a valued family favorite. This movie is unmistakably traditional Disney in every way. In the age when Disney animation was at its cultural height during Walt's era, the Sherman Brothers' renowned tunes, the painterly storybook settings, and the lovable and intimate time spent with its characters all combined to produce an unmistakable Disney masterpiece. As a Disney classic that spans decades, there is no clearer example of Winnie the Pooh media that perfectly captures the character's clean and innocent nature and environment. And with all that, that's a wrap for this video. Are you excited for the upcoming new movie? Tell us below in the comment section, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.